Then we'll go into a little bit about um, just your uh, some some of your life events, and we'll get you, we'll get your story. You're going to bless a lot of people. I'm really thankful you're going to do this. Always be simple. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people look. <laughs> that, that, that's the main. Wear your seatbelt. That's going to be the main point of the whole thing. Well, Darren, thank you so much for meeting with that with me today and sharing your story. Why don't you tell everybody who you are? Um, Darren Hungerford. I've um, been here for a long time. <laughs> long time. Yeah. And so uh, you've been serving. I mentioned to you before longer than I've even been going to Rush Creek. You've been serving in the same spot. Tell everybody about how you serve Rush Creek. At a door greeter. At a door greeter. Yeah, mm -hmm. right at the West Door. So how long have you been doing it? Most, most time I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long has that been? Can you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Maybe 20 years for one uh, 20 uh, years. Yeah. Lots of people get to see you walk in and out. I asked Darren to share a story with me. Almost 28 years ago, shortly after he and his wife married, she became pregnant with their only daughter. Darren was working multiple jobs trying to make ends meet and struggling to adjust to a new way of life. While delivering pizza one evening, he was involved in a bad car accident. A large truck ran a stop sign and T-boned him, totaling his car and putting him in the hospital. The doctor said that it is a miracle that he didn't die on impact. The crash severely crushed his skull into his brain, and if it wasn't for the trauma team at JPS, he would not have survived. He was in a coma for many months, and it took over three months before he would gain consciousness. Truly, he was a miracle. He had to go to years of therapy, learning to use his motor skills, learning how to walk, and even learning how to speak. The crash had left him with neurological damage resulting in physical limitations. The accident caused added stress on his marriage that quickly ended in divorce just a few months later. I asked him what brings him the greatest joy. He quickly responded, his daughter Ashley. Even though he and his wife divorced, he maintained a healthy relationship with his daughter and is so proud of her accomplishments today. She has graduated college and is now attending dental school. He loves to serve at Rush Creek and the many people he's able to greet every single Sunday. He's a pleasure to be around. I love hearing about his family and his daughters. Um, he really has a big love in his heart for his daughters and they have special meaning for him. He really exudes Jesus Christ through his willingness just to hold the door open for you and to say good morning to you, to give your kids a high five. It's really a joy to get to see that every week in and out. Yeah, it sounds like your daughter is very central to your story. Well, Darren, thank you for coming in and sharing your story with us. Uh, I don't know if you realize it, but you are greatly loved and admired here at Rush Creek. And so we wanted to let you know that you have been selected as our Dollar Club recipient for Father's Day. You have been nominated more than any other person before, like five or six times by people, because they just see the joy that you have when you're here serving. Uh, you're consistent and you're admired by so many people. Um, but we want to help you with uh, just a few things. And one of those things is we want to pay your rent for the next three months. But we also know that the Cowboys is your team. And so as one of their biggest fans, we thought you needed a new hat. So we've got you a, a new cowboy hat. Um, but not only that, we've got you an official Prescott jersey for you to wear on game day. But it's not always fun just to watch the game from home. So we've also got you some tickets to the game their next season for you to go to and take some friends or family with you and enjoy, enjoy watching that game in the AT&T Stadium. Well, Darren, you are loved. We appreciate you. We thank you for all that you do for Rush Creek. And happy Father's Day. Thank you.